Hello there. This is Nate. Today we're playing Dread. This is Dread 1.40. It was updated this morning, and there it's a pretty small update, but we do have quite a few things to talk about in this update. Not really too much, but let's get started. So anyway, first off is the door here. This is this is Bread Corp, and before before the door was added, you could just sit on the stage, and then you, you'd be pretty sad. You could shoot all the zombies that come towards you. Now you can access it from the back, and then that makes it harder for zombies, or no, easier for zombies to get the survivors who like to camp here. There are new badges, so one of the badges is called, like, I don't know. But anyway, what, I don't know what it's called, but the way you get it is to get all the way to rank 50, which is a very high rank. Highest rank, in fact. And the other badge is survivalist, and all you have to do is survive a round, which sounds pretty easy. It might be exclusive to survival, it does not say, but it says you have to survive around, so I'm going to... We'll see if we get it here. This is uh, Assassination. It's a new code, which I will... It's like 2020 badges. It's like it's like this, then. Yes, $1,000. So the reason that you can't... That you didn't say 2020 on the actual page is probably because it got censored. Because everyone knows Roblox hates numbers. Oh no. Anyway, I'm gonna do my best to survive this round. Uh, no promises, but actually, never mind. I'll, it'll be pretty easy. But we'll see if I get the badge after this. We have more stuff to talk about too, though. So small maps now do not have PvP game modes, which I find kind of weird. But like, whatever. I don't know. I, he asked in the poll, and it seems to be the popular opinion that people don't like playing PvP modes on small maps and when it comes to like player versus player, I'm in most games I'm a lot better at close range combat than long range combat, and I do enjoy close range combat a lot more than long long range combat. So I I was kind of against the whatever game uh, game mode is being removed from the smaller maps, and still am. But I don't know. It's not it's not a big deal. I don't really play red for the player versus player that much anyway. I still would like to have some like close range PvP, and you can still do close range PvP on the bigger maps, but then, you know, like, I also understand why he did like remove them from that, because if you've ever played Crystal Caverns like Deathmatch or something, the shotguns are crazy, the miniguns are crazy, it's, it's just generally a pretty... <laughs> Pretty crazy. And you get spawn killed a lot more, so. I understand, but like, yeah, I would, I still like the close range combat a lot. I think that instead of like removing the close range combat from, or close range maps from PvP game modes is, I think you should have made it so that you have a PvP like servers instead, so like if you go to extras there'd be like a PvP server here or something like that, I'm not sure. But like in the original Dread there was uh, these things called war game servers. I guess this is the original Dread technically. But like when it was first released there is uh, war game servers where you could play PvP. And those were like, honestly they were great. And then now it's all merged together. And I, I really like the PvP servers. Because then, you know how... All right, a lot of the time I'll get a challenge that'll say, like, kill 20 survivors. It would be a lot more helpful if it was... You, know, you could play a PV, in a PvP server. But anyway, survived around, And... Let's see, I don't think I got a badge. Oh yeah, ammo boxes don't lag Siege as much. Oh yeah, there's only 5 rounds on Siege now. It used to be 10, and 10 was very long. Now there are, and then I think that he changed it to like 8 or something. But now there's 5. Actually, I'm not really sure if he changed it before, but pretty sure there was discussion. Oh, I think I, oh yeah, this is a new bug that I, I found out yesterday. The running animation gets weird. And also if you try to do like an emote, it does this. I'm not, I'm not sure why it does this, but like, it's kind of annoying.
Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird. And I do not have the badge. That's weird. All right. Maybe it has to be in a normal server. Try that. All right, we'll vote for campaign. I'm not sure if it works in campaign, but we'll we'll, we'll try it. We'll, we'll just equip the M60. We're gonna, that'll make our chances of surviving very high. That was close. Oh, this guy, this guy recognized. Not that guy, someone else. That guy was there. <laughs> Didn't even see him. Alright, there we go. We got the badge. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I think that pretty much wraps up the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.